Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 60 of Direwolf20's Enigmonica 2 Expert Mode series. I am uh, ready to do some fun shenanigans around oil drilling. Does that sound cool? Sounds like a good time? Anybody up for some oil drilling? Uh, I hope so, because that's what we're doing today. Uh, I feel like this area could probably be filled in. Uh, for that, we're going to use a new feature of the building gadget. Who's excited for this, huh? Do, 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 do. Surface mode! Boop. How cool is that? Uh, surface mode works kind of like a builder's wand, uh, where it'll build on top of an existing surface. So like, and you can also use it to like link up uh, or, or other blocks. So like this would build cobblestone on top of stone, where unlike a, a builder's wand, you have to you have to build the same material. This one, it, it uses whatever the stored material in the tool is. So connected uh, mode is, is, is pretty cool. So surface mode there. You can also set it to fuzzy uh, or connected surface mode for true or false. So like right now with fuzzy off, it'll just link. So like the sand there and then there's gravel and then there's smooth stone, right? If we put it on fuzzy mode, it'll do all them. Oop. Ha 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 ha. Cool. And if we want to do dirt here, we could do that. Oop. Neat. You like? I hope you like, because I like. Pretty awesome there, right? Turn off fuzzy mode. Connected surface mode is a little bit different-ish. So like connected surface mode on, see what it's doing to, um, like I'll make it this so it's a little bit more apparent, right? See what it's doing there to the to that? If I turn connected surface mode off, um, it's supposedly gonna, you know what? No, because that's different. Uh, and, and put on fuzzy mode, let's do that. That'll work. So see how here, it's doing the grass and the stone on the right. If I put connected surface mode on, it only does the grass because it's the stone over there is not connected to these blocks directly in some way. So with connected surface mode on, it only connects to blocks that are connected in some way. So you can see like, like this is connected to this because it's in one of like the eight blocks around it, right? Whereas the stone is not connected in the radius, right? But if I turn off connected surface mode, it'll do that. Um, and this follows the um, the range mode. So if I bump the range up to 15 or bump the range down. Pretty spiffy, huh? I like it. I think it's I think it's awesome. Um, one of uh, one of the people who uh, has been recently helping me to maintain the mod uh, added that feature. It's one that I've been kind of wanting to get around to eventually for a while and just never had the chance. Um, so I'm really happy to see that that's now a feature because that's cool, right? Connected texture mode and, and, and surface mode. So last episode of uh, of this crazy series that we're doing, right? We did this stuff. Got everything going for a majority of the machines that we're going to need going forward uh, to, to, to make things work with this crazy mod that we're playing with, Advanced Rocketry. Uh, however, the next task, we're going to eventually need to use this machine here. And the rolling machine has a bunch of recipes that unfortunately need a resource that we don't currently have, and that is lubricant from immersive petroleum. Now, the only way to get lubricant is using a distillation tower and distilling crude oil um, into lubricant, diesel, or gasoline. Crude oil from thermal or crude oil from immersive petroleum. We're going to go with this crude oil, the immersive petroleum one, and that'll get us lubricant, diesel, and gasoline. And gasoline and diesel can be used as a fuel source if we want to at some point down the line, or we can mix it into napalm for some reason. Like, there's things you can do with it, right? But the thing we're after is the lubricant, right? So that's what, like, our focus is right here. Um, now, what we're going to do about that is a really good question because I'm super not 100% sure how I want that to work. Like, on one hand, I'd like this oil processing rig to be a little bit far away from my base. Not crazy far, but far enough that it's not, like, you know, a giant eyesore. But also, I don't want it to be completely invisible, right? Does that make sense? By the way, how are you doing, buddy? You're mining up a storm. Good job. And you're processing and doing stuff. Man, we are we are, we are are lucky guys who, who get to have all this cool stuff. Um, so I'm thinking like over in this general area is where I'll set up the oil derrick that'll pump up the oil and then the distillation tower, which is huge and gigantic and takes up a lot of space, but we'll, pro like we'll, 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 we'll clean up the oil and, and turn it into the lubricant I need. And then we'll use uh, power cells and we'll use ender tanks to get the lubricant that we need over to where we want it. Does that sound like kind of a plan? I hope so, because that's pretty much what we're doing. Oh, I am liking, I am liking service mode already. 
I really am, if I'm being honest with you guys, because that is pretty cool, right? Boom. And then we can put on fuzzy. Oh, that's undo, that's right. Uh, fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Sorry, chicken. I don't want to hurt you, but I am. Spifferino, I like it. Nice, 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 nice. And we do this. That is cool. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking the new building gadget feature. Um, it's currently in beta, uh, but it's available on CurseForge. So you can go get it on CurseForge, but it's just flagged as a beta. So uh, version 2.6.3 is the current version. As of the time of this recording, there might be a newer one. Uh, there's a couple other cool things you can do, by the way, that we'll uh, maybe take a look at a little bit later. Anyway, back to work. So first things first, what we need to do to get this thing working is put these guys away and you and you uh, and decide to find oil. So to find that, we need this thing, which I prepared ahead of time. Booyah, a core sample drill. That is going to drill into the uh, world and find out, and it's it's per chunk, so bring up your chunk boundaries with F3G, and, and go ahead and, and activate the drill. So to do that, you need power. So I'm going to go ahead and pop down my power cell. Give it uh, this guy. Oh, you unlinked when I did that, didn't you? Uh, shift click apparently puts it into the unlinking spot. Today we learned. We flying over. Okay. Uh, so there, which means now you're connected, and we're going to set you two out on all sides. And you might need a redstone signal. Uh, that's also a possibility. So let's make sure that we're within range of our doohickey here and get ourselves a lever. Fair plan. Whoops, wrong direction. Get myself turned around here. So I feel like you might need a redstone signal. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, hello. Nope, you're running without a redstone signal. Cool. It's going. And that got me this thing. So in this area, there is a silver vein. There's no fluid reservoir. Uh, and we'll get a bunch of silver if we use Immersive Engineering's drill thingy. It'll just produce like a ton of silver for us. That's neat, right? Oh, cool, look at that. There's even if you, uh, there you go. If you're close enough, you can see the, the boundary of the chunk that it's, it's, it's carving up. Nice. So then, you know, next step, you know, we'll, we'll, what I usually do when I'm doing something like this, you can place this in the world, I think you used, yeah, there you go, hello. Shift click it and you can see what it is. So if you wanna mark like this chunk had this resource in it, you can totally do that. Cool. Uh, so then we'll just pop this guy back down. He should still be set to all out and he remembers all his settings. Oh, you just right click the core sample drill and then it starts running. There you go. I knew you had to activate it some way. I wasn't sure uh, it looks like right click is the way to go and then right click to get your core sample drill. No mineral, but there's 590 buckets of lava down there. So if we if we put the pump jack in this chunk, we get a bunch of lava. Sweet. So let's try the next chunk over. Excuse me, Mr. Angus Cow, who has some delicious foods apparently. Um, let's, let's try and core sample drill this guy, right? So boom, boom, click and we'll see what's in this chunk, right? So both, these things both serve to tell me what's in the chunk and also, hey, remember you already did this one, Dyer. Don't drill it again. Cause I mean, at some point I'll, I might go and drill it and be like, what? So this has a coal vein and no fluid reservoir. So expected yield 38,000. So if I, if, I, if I mined this chunk, we would get coal, right? So now let's do this one. You, you, go. Um, and we found no mineral or fluid reservoir. So this chunk is just terrible, isn't it? So I guess what I'll do is spend a little bit of time looking around in an area that I want to find uh, the fluid reservoir of, of oil. And then I'll come back in a minute once we've found one uh, and hopefully, oh yeah, sample food varieties. We got things. We got a new heart, look at that, booyah. Another heart for Dyer. 
Uh, no mineral. Crude oil. Hey, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say we'll come back when we find one. I found one. So this is the chunk um, that has crude oil in it. Uh, we're going to find 7,481,000 millibuckets, or basically 7,500 buckets of oil. So let's go home now that we know where this is and get ready for the pump jack. You ready? We're going to do that. And then we're going to do the, the oil reservoir, and then we'll set everything up. So we'll back in a minute. So real quick, I'm going to make a projector uh, for immersive, right? Uh, which is a pretty cool little gadget. It lets you see, and this will be especially useful in a minute when we build the next one. But this one, it'll also help with. So to use this, you, you, you put the projector in the crafting table with the book. Once you've chosen in the book which thing you're making, and now it says here, it displays instructions for making a pump jack because in the book I chose pump jack, right? That's what I'm looking at in the book at the moment. Um, so that's how it knows what to do. So I need a redstone engineering block and two light engineering blocks, which I think I've got that many. Um, and then I need two heavy, two block of steel and four steel sheet metal. So two heavy steel, we're gonna need like, go ahead and just make 30 of those. Um, and how many steel sheet metal? Four steel sheet metal. And that's just four steel plates, right? So four steel plates. Go ahead and get to work. And let's get our two blocks of steel. Go buddy, let's go. I do kind of like being able to hear the thing run down there because it's like, oh yeah, it's working. Okay, so is that everything I need then? That is a check. All right, sir. So we need to pump jack this chunk, right? So anywhere in this chunk should be fine. Uh, do I want to like flatten this a little bit? I think I probably do. Uh, hey buddy, where's you and you and you and you? Right, so you're gonna be Seven and seven, seven, you know, let's just do eight. And a depth of one. Woo, very easy, right? Right? The best. Goodbye things. Give me a nice flat terrain to work with. All right, so make sure that the pump jack is in this chunk, right? And then we can use the projector here to uh, show where it's gonna live, right? So that, Looks like a pretty cool place for it to chill, right? So we're gonna grab our fluid pipes, which go. Here, 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 and here. And then scaffolding here, here, here. See these blocks you can't click on, you click through them. It's very nice to be able to see like what's coming though, right? You just have to be careful about where you click. Okay, uh, the redstone goes here. The heavy hay goes here. We've got some fences to place down here and here. And it has to be in your hotbar somewhere for it to work, FYI. And then the steel block here, hopefully it's okay with me using a different type of steel block heavy and then here comes your steel sheet metal with I presume that's another steel block we're gonna find out in a minute won't we I mean that looks like a pump jack right do I have my hammer on me I may not Woohoo! Let's see if you'll form. Clicking randomly until you form. Where do I click you to make you form? Leave a comment in the video if you know where to make this form. I don't know how to make you form. Maybe you are play strong. No, no, no. I got the green. I got the green outline, so that tells me it's good, right? Yeah, that definitely 
Yeah, green outline means it's good, right? So where do I form you at? Heavy engineering block on the second layer, it says, but that doesn't seem to be working. Oh, hey, there we go. Got it, got it, got it. Cool. And then I think you can shift click this or something to make the... There's something you can do to make it stop trying to render. Long story short, take it out of your hotbar and you're good. Okay, cool, so we're good. So this is the output, right? Uh, the energy comes in up top here. So let's make an ender tank. Um, we'll use a, uh, do we have black dye, like ink sacks? I think we have some ink sacks, right? Yeah, we have a few, right? Uh, let's just do two, right? So it'll be black, white, white for oil. I think that makes sense, right? Ender tank, right? We've got some purples. What was I gonna use that for? I have no idea. Purple, what was purple gonna be used for? Something. That's for sure. Something. Well, you're being repurposed now. You're gonna be black, purple, purple. How's that sound? Yep. I made them for a purpose. I just don't know what it was. So theoretically, pop this dude here, get some power going here, and we've got the pump jack running, sweet. Nice, nice. Now, I don't know how much RF protect this thing uses, um, but clearly he does not want to put directly into there. Oh, wait, he's got some crude oil. He just decided to stop running. This is the part where you keep running. Why'd you decide that you're done? You don't need a redstone signal, do you? Didn't I literally have a lever on me? Uh, uh, what happened to my lever? Had a lever. Don't know where the lever went. Because you were running like a second ago, so what's up, bro? Don't tell me that you think you're full. Let's get a conduit. Because we could do the pressurized fluid conduit. Because you have oil in the tank, so that tells me it's totally working, right? But just misbehaving a little bit. So let's do something like that. So that you on the north can be extract always active and on the down can be insert. Totally doesn't seem necessary. Uh, hey, buddy. What's your beef, stranger? Am I doing something derpy here, or what? You might need a chest somewhere? Does the, does the pump jack have some kind of item output somewhere? I didn't think so. But maybe there's, like, an item stuck in it? Uh, doing that, and that on the side, the, uses that to pump crude oil at a rate of 25. The produced oil is automatically ejected through the two side ports with orange chart. The average oil deposit will take six days to deplete. Applying a redstone signal to the control panel will halt the behavior. This behavior can be reversed by using an engineer's hammer. Right, okay, cool. That makes a uh, little to no sense to me why it's not working at the moment, because it totally was a second ago. Right, you've got power, you're outputting power, you've got enough RFIF on you. You should be cool, bro. So let's do this, let's break. When in doubt, reboot. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna get rid of the lever just to prevent any confusion. Do that. And you're pumping again. And then you stop. Why'd you stop? Why did you stop, bro? That's weird, right? Isn't that weird? I think it's weird. Back in a minute, got a, I, I mean, unless, Unless you have to output to both tanks. That would be silly, right? That wouldn't be a thing. Would that be a thing? I don't think so. Let's get another tank here. Uh, let's do a portable tank. Just to see if this is what's happening. Yeah, I wouldn't think that that would be a thing. All right, that doesn't make any sense. That you would have to pump out both sides. Mm, back in a minute. This is weird. Because I've used these things before and this has never uh, done this. 
The fact that it runs for a second and then stops is what's odd. Let me, let me, let me, let me troubleshoot. Aha! Aha! Ha ha! If you look up Immersive Petroleum Crude Oil Bucket in JEI uh, and hit the Info tab, it tells you the pump jack needs a pipe to bedrock to function. This is a config option in Immersive Petroleum, which I discovered through Googling. Uh, so that's a thing. Now, it says you need a pipe from to bedrock. It doesn't say where. So it's a multi-block, right? So does the pipe go here? Or like, like this is where I would think it would go because that's like the where the pump jack part ends. But that's actually not part of the multi-block, right? Like I can, uh, like that's actually not part, well, okay, that part is, okay. So probably this, okay, weird. So this is funny, um, I've looked everywhere and there's no real instruction on where the pipe should go. Logically, it makes sense that it would go here. So let's do the thing you're not supposed to do in Minecraft. Um, this is like a big rule, right? Don't dig straight down, don't dig straight down. But we're doing it because that's what we do. It's what we do. We. All right, now here's where it's getting a little bit dangerous. But I think we'll be cool. So what do we got here? We do have some kind of fluid lava going on. Just gotta be ready to fall in the lava. That's the trick. Just gotta be all kinds of ready to fall into lava. If you're ready to fall, then you'll be fine. All right, so that's bedrock, right? So quick snack and then fluid pipes up. And I'm going to go on a limb and assume that fluid pipes are tile entities. So um, no building gadgets for them, womp womp. So in theory, this should solve my problem and allow me to, to, to pump the fluid up. It's funny, there's no instructions anywhere on where to connect the pipes to. And I'm just going by like the logical assumption that you would connect it to that. Hey, look what's running. Good job, Pump Jack. You done worked now. Yay. Okay, that works for me. So I'm gonna call that uh, a Pump Jack that works, right? Uh, and we'll let that run for a few minutes. And then in a minute, we'll come back here and do the thing with um, processing this fuel, right? This oil. So we've got 16 buckets filled up the inner tank super quick. Right now we gotta process it and get our next stuff out of it. So one more thing I did before we uh, proceed with the tower is I noticed this thing was running even though the tank was full. Uh, it was just running and it looked like it was using power so I don't wanna waste RF. So to do that, uh, I just put up a liquid monitor on here and I said, uh, you know, it's showing ender chest but it's clearly an ender tank. Uh, if you are more than 90% full, then emit a redstone signal boop, into there. Uh, and that turns it off, right? So if we were to empty out some of that oil, which we'll see in a few minutes, it should turn back on. And then when we fill it back up, it'll turn back off. So just, I don't know if it's meant to auto shut off, but it's not auto shutting off. So there's a thing to know about. So now let's get our distillation tower going. So to get that going, this is actually a big one. This is big. The distillation tower is really, really big. Um, but we I'm gonna, you know, prep all the stuff right now uh, through auto crafting. I think for the most part, we should be cool. Um, and then we'll be back in a minute once I'm ready. So 25 steel scaffolding, 33 steel scaffolding slabs, some fluid pipes, and the old engineering stuff, and then some iron sheet metal times a lot. So back in a few minutes with all this stuff. Well, this was surprisingly painless to craft. I mean, it literally took under a minute. Yay for automation, am I right? I think so. So that should be everything we need. Yes, all checks, screen checks, screen checks across the board. So let's pop over here. Let's F3G this so I can make sure this thing is positioned correctly. Uh, but I'm basically gonna move you over to here because I want my distillation tower to be roughly here. So now that we've got distillation tower chosen in the book, we just craft the book with the pump jack and we're cool to go. Uh, and we should be able to place him wherever we want. Um, boop. Yeah, I think that looks cool. So like right up there. So let's let's kind of line that up 
roughly with that, and that should be that that works for me, right? So uh, building this thing isn't too bad. Uh, it's just a matter of placing a bunch of blocks. It's tall, but there's also a lot of air, which is neat. Um, so we're going to need pipes. We're going to need the heavy dudes here. All right, so next tier of craft of building goes like this. And this is when we're going to start needing our iron sheet metal. Cool. That looks like a regular steel scaffolding block. It's nice because it does actually highlight for you, like when you have the right thing in your hotbar, like it highlights the block and where they go. So that's super cool. Right, and then this goes here. So it's not a crazy thing to build, for sure. Like it's not, it's not too much, but it's definitely a lot of stuffs, right? So now we're into the steel sheet metal slabs portion of things. I believe this is correct. It's a little concerning to me is that it's not highlighting it, but that's cool. I think it's right. I'm almost certain I'm doing this correctly. And if I'm not, I'll just rip it down and do it again. So that goes there, that there, that there. It's pretty constant that it goes up like this. And then like every couple blocks, it's got the, the slabs again. Right, so I think the next level will have the slabs again. Cool. I think this is correct. And then you, and then you. It's a little bit of building, but it's not, like I said, terrible. There's clearly a pattern that makes it a little bit easier. Oh, wrong, wrong positioning. Where'd you go? All the way down there. Luckily we have a form of flight. Okay, so you guys now continue here, here, like this. Goodness, it just keeps going, doesn't it? Green. Green is good. Uh, and then hammer him somehow, somewhere. Usually I guess for a few minutes and then I look at the book. Because <laughs> I clearly don't know where to click. Um, so, ba 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 ba. On the redstone engineering block. I clicked that one, didn't I? Oh, it's a specific side, that's all. That's all, okay. So then I think I can shift click you to... There we go, nice. All right, there we go, distillation tower. Now this guy needs power too. Um, and this is fluid in and this is fluid out. And the power connector, I think there's a power connector up there. So how about we just, you know, go super non dire wiry because RF tools, power cells are super easy to make, right? Like super easy. Now I might want another ender tank for this, by the way. I just might. In fact, I might even just want to pipe the oil directly in there. Cause I don't know if there's a, if there's a, if there's a use for the crude oil um, outside of, I mean, it could turn into naphtha. It could go into the, I don't see any reason to not just distill it. So maybe for now, what we'll do, let's get a little bit of quartz here. Let's get two stacks of quartz and put them in the alloy furnace with a little bit of tick acceleration help. And we can get a few more conduits. Well, yeah, I'm gonna replace that with a tank then is what I'm gonna do. We'll get a portable tank. We'll get our conduits 
30-ish should be good. So let's do this. Yeah, let's make this a tank, and then we'll 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 ender tank the other things, right? So watch this. If I if I pick you up, that should start running again, I would think. Right, I just have to link you there. Right, so see how it's running, and it's gonna fill up the tank with 32 buckets, and then once it's full, it should stop running. Let's just validate that. And then I'm gonna convert all the oil that's in my ender tanks into stuff, and then we'll pipe it out into a new ender tank, or the same ender tanks, but you know, cleared out. I think that's a good plan, right? So as soon as we hit 90% full on this thing, uh, which we're about halfway there now. I hesitate to tick accelerate a multi-block. I rarely am comfortable doing that because unless you know that it's gonna work, who knows what kind of shenanigans. Usually there's one tile entity in a multi-block that controls it. So if you know which one that is, you can tick accelerate it and it'll it'll definitely work. Uh, but like I said, a little bit. A little bit on the hesitation side. So we should see this guy shutting down in a sec. There we go, 29,500, he stops. Boom, perfect. That confirms that this automation is working correctly, All right? So now we're just gonna wanna right across here. And yes, I know, not a shovel. I know. So where do I want you to come out at? That's the question. Where do we want this guy to come out at? That would be here. So you're gonna go one, two, three, and then turn right. And I might be able to pipe it right into this block. And if that's the case, then we have like really good wiring, right? And that should be cool. All right, so can I connect this conduiting right here? No, it looks like it actually has to be here. Good to know. Good to know. So then we run this up to here, but I'm not gonna hit the button yet on, on start draining. And the reason for that is I actually want uh, to plop down this ender tank and hit this button so he'll start draining. So on the east, you're gonna be insert, and on the up, you're gonna be extract. So that should all drain into there, right? So he has a nice internal buffer of 24 buckets, which means this is now an empty ender tank, okay? And then the remaining 24 buckets can come from right here, which will be extract always active. And then as you start to empty, the pump jack will turn back on, right? And then when you fill up again with your buffer, uh, the, the pump jack will turn off, cool? And then we just need uh, our, 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 our RF tool stuff, right? So, so RF tools, I want another power cell and dude. Cool. Not terrible. So you just need power that sits right there with a linked guy right there. So that means, oh, and all out. Boom, look. We're producing gasoline and diesel and lubricant. Huzzah! Huzzah! So now, right, uh, we're gonna wanna figure out how we're gonna handle that. I'm thinking Ender IO, Ender, uh, fluid conduits that can do the multiple liquids thing should be a slam dunk here, right? Um, and we shouldn't have too much problem making a few of these, right? So I'd like to say, hey, give me, oh, I don't know. Do we not have this taught? because I feel like you should be taught. You should know how you work. You're in crafting mode, yes. Do it this way though, please, thank you. So that you use existing ones um, and do the upgrades. Okay, so now give me you know 20 of them. That should technically be 24. So it's gonna use three pressurized fluids and a few ender pearls. Not a big deal, back in a minute. So let's get some fluid filters. Um, and what we're gonna do is have Ender Energy Conduits here. And we're gonna have one, two, three tanks, right? So one, two, three tanks, okay? Um, 
And what we want to do here is um, you're going to be insert there. And on the down, you're going to be insert. Uh, and we're not extracting yet, right? Oh, we are. Gasoline and gasoline. Why are you extracting already? You weren't supposed to extract already. So let's just pick you up for a sec. Because I think I can... I just want you on insert mode for now. That should no longer be filling then. Cool. And I should be able to do that. So you're gasoline. Okay. Um, and then there's diesel and lubricant. So I don't know which one's which. I think gasoline's. Which one's gasoline versus diesel? So in the distillation tower, gasoline you get the most of, diesel second most, lubricant third. So I'll do that in order, right? So gasoline here. So your insert filter. Uh, now somebody said I could drag this. So like gasoline bucket like that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, uh, on the down, your insert filter, okay, is gonna be diesel, however you spell diesel. So you, diesel, boom, okay. And then you on the down will be insert with lubricant. Cool. So that means that you can now once again on the south be extract always active, which should take care of that. Right. And now diesel and lubricant are also going to go in there and they're going to go to their appropriate places. So lubricant's going now. And then gasoline's full. So you're going to stuff. Right. So then what we're going to do is this. We're going to have a trash can. Uh, and we're going to have another one of these fluid filters. Okay. And let's get you to stop extracting for a sec because I don't want you to avoid anything I care about. But here we're going to have a fluid pipe who's going to be on insert with a filter that's going to be gasoline and diesel. Okay, so that when I do extract always active now, the gasoline and diesel are allowed to void, right? In theory, I should probably set you to priority lower than this. So what's going on there? Diesel, you might be the wrong diesel. That was the problem. So then let's make sure it's the right diesel over here as well so that you can void diesel. Cool. So you're going to fill up. All right. So lubricant will never be voided. Only diesel and gasoline can be voided. OK. Um, that's kind of neat, right? Hopefully this means it'll work. I'm not seeing it actually. It's all it's doing is producing lubricant at this point. So I think it is actually working. It eventually went ahead and filled up the under tank with lubricant. So now the final step would be to come over to here. And this is where the lubricant goes. So we're basically just going to do that. Right. And I don't know if it's going to show me. I guess it does in the UI. Right. So we just pop that guy down there and say, you know, I can use like the non ender. I can use like the well, yes, but we also have to get it. So. Let's get the normal stinky conduit, right? And then on the down will be extract always active and on the up will be insert and you should now be filling up with lubricant. Nice, um, which is cool, right? And then if we come back over here, uh, we should see this thing filling up with lubricant right back up, right? So he's right back up filled with lubricant and this guy is going to presumably, so he's getting crude oil, right? A little bit slowly, but surely. I guess he's a little bit slow about producing it, but it's fine because it's working, right? It's a little bit slow, but it's fine. If we if we get into a position where we're not happy with our, our production, but I think we're going to have way more lubricant than we need. Uh, what also is way more than we should do is wrapping up point. We're way past it. So Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. New food? New food. Booyah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we've got uh, immersive petroleum going on now. We've got lubricant happening. We've got 
all the things we need. Uh, I did turn off my miner at some point in this episode because, like, like half an hour ago, uh, this chest was very full, uh, and it's clearing out the backlog of resources that it needs to process at this point. So or quadrupling definitely takes its sweet time. Um, but it's fine because, like, these machines are keeping up with the speed that these machines can be. Technically, if I wanted to, I could upgrade these to have five or seven machine processors at a time, right? Uh, in fact, this chemical injection chamber, I should probably have done that. I don't know why I didn't on him. He's probably my holdup. So why don't I get um, the mechanism upgrade doohickey on him? I forgot to upgrade him. Um, with the tier tier upgrade. So he's definitely kind of my slowdown. Uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye if he starts to back stuff, but long story short, it doesn't matter because eventually it'll clear itself out. We just have to be patient. And if we're not patient, we can always upgrade the tiers of further ahead machines and make them all process faster. But anyway, like I said, totally wrapping up point. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. For now, boom, take it easy. I want you to do that, thank you.